Yo guys, what is up? Davis here. This is the uh, ghost case that you can get from. Well, I don't, I don't know if they make them anymore. I don't think they do. But these are the ghost case, and this is what it would look like if you got one. Um, it's completely clear, and we got some special LEDs in there. Uh, these LEDs are kind of like the ones that are behind my TV. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you probably have seen it. Um, and you have this remote, and it's just restarting because it's setting up the plugins. This is the first time I booted it up. <clears throat> so, you have this remote, and as you can see, the console boots really fast. Uh, and you have different settings. And then when it's like when it's one color like this, you can change the color with the color shift. Just keep pressing it and it'll cycle through the, the different colors. And yeah, you can change all of these to something different. See we are at green now. Then it would go to like a yellow and then to an orange and then red. And that is from me clicking this uh, color shift. If it'll focus. But anyway, it also is music activated. So let's go to one. So it is activated by sound. Um, you can turn that on and off down here. And then I think the lock is you can lock the settings. So if you try to move it or something, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually change. So we unlock it. We turn that back off. And we can go through the uh, cycles again. And it just looks really good. There's also LEDs on the side right here. This is my favorite right here. This is like the the rainbow like fade color, um, and I think you can slow it. Oh, this one right here when it's when it's on the uh, the certain mode. If you press this button, it lowers the uh, you know the brightness. And okay, that's just the uh, music one again. I'm still trying to figure this remote out, but. Um, yeah, so you, you have all these options. You can turn it on and off as well. I'm not really sure what mode auto does. Oh, I guess it just cycles through it on its own then. Yeah, it looks like that looks like what it's doing, so. Alright. Well I'm gonna leave it on that one and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna sync the controller. I haven't did anything to this console yet. Like setting it up wise so it's synced games xex menu now i'm going to change the fan speed to 70 percent because that's usually what i put it to for slims so i was i just gave him every single thing that i had um he wanted a a big hard drive and you know LEDs that I've never done before in any console so this is you know this is definitely a one of a kind uh, so yeah I have all these on here so let's go over to hard doing this with one hand let's go to one setup files and dash launch and I'm gonna set up the fan And he has a one terabyte hard drive, I think. Uh, and I didn't show it in dash launch, but the Trinity Glitch 2, which is what you want it. Um, those temperatures are going to be better once we change the fan speed to 70%. You can hear it. But you'll see those temperatures drop real quick. 
so yeah this is it for this video guys and hope you enjoyed this looking at this console um it does have a glitch light i can go ahead and show you Oh, uh, now it doesn't want to boot on camera, of course. There it goes. Yeah, that was the glitch light, which is attached to the uh, glitch chip. Um, let me unplug this. Plug it back in. So now it instant boot it. So, I mean, the boot times are really good on this console. And I'm very sure that he he will be happy with his console. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.